This Ridleyo is sponsored by Freaking.com. So I know someone who is all veklept, so to speak, over Israel, which is a another way of saying they are sympathizers uh, with the Israeli government. And it's difficult to debate with them because it's hard to propose nice clean solutions for the uh, conflict in that area. There seems to be no major faction that is pro-freedom and uh, no place that you can draw a border without harming or endangering people who in many cases are only guilty of having been born where they are and what they are. But if you, if, if, if instead of trying to tackle the grand problem with a grand or even simple solution, you take a page from nature and start with the small. Building on that, it gets easier. Nature teaches us through its creations that order, grandness, and beauty can come from the tiny interactions of emergent behavior. So for example, a flock of birds uh, looks like it looks and is beautiful just because each bird is trying to stay about a meter away from the bird next to them or something like that. Or an evergreen becomes what it is just because of each cell doing its own thing in connection with the cell next to it. In the, so, in the same way, so many of our problems in the world are better addressed not at the mouth, but at the source. So, for example, with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, one of the most vexatious and difficult to imagine a solution for, I like to say the first step that should probably be taken is for the uh, Israeli government uh, to stop... Uh, no, wait, back up. That sounds too big. We're supposed to be talking small here. So the, the thing for each Palestinian and each Israeli to do they want to have a constructive effect on the situation is stop committing acts of aggression against well anyone everyone the way you do that as an Israeli is you stop paying taxes to the Israeli government and if you're a Palestinian you stop paying taxes to the PA that way you're not funding uh, the things that those uh, uh, organizations do uh, to harm bystanders uh, on the other side I mean, obviously, Israelis tend to do, do a lot of stuff that, that harms, you know, Palestinian bystanders. But, uh, of course, the Israeli government does plenty of stuff that harms Israeli citizens, too. Taxing them a lot would be one good example. If you pay your taxes, you're helping them hurt people. If you stop paying your taxes, you're not helping them hurt people anymore. You're just doing the one simple thing. You're staying... You're kind of like the bird that's staying a meter away from the bird in front of it. You're just doing one small part of something which, if more and more people did it, would become an emergent behavior. If large numbers of people in that area refused to pay uh, taxes to their respective bad governments, well, that would force changes in those governments' behavior. We don't know exactly what the em in end emergent behavior would look like, but it would probably be better than what we have now. In the same way in New Hampshire where the problems are much simpler, we can each oppose each government act of aggression that we come across or each act of uh, criminal aggression, you know, by, uh, by uh, pirates, of which we have few, in whatever ways we, uh, we're able to. Roughly 15 years of roughly 1,500 people doing this, has not created a utopia, but it certainly hasn't caused New Hampshire to come uh, to become more dystopian. What's the piece of emergent behavior that you can engage in today that will help lead us toward a more peaceable and tolerant society ten years from now? What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keen's advantages are compelling. 
For details, visit freekeen.com.